So I fully switched over to Linux earlier this year, right? Well, now I'm finally starting to get the hang of it. I'm understanding how DirectX is incorporated with Wine and Proton. I'm understanding how Vulkan works. I'm understanding now what games to avoid that have Windows kernel level anti-cheat. And I'm understanding what games to go after that will run great on Linux. And that led me here to Path of Exile 2 Early Access. So I'm going to show you my graphics settings here. As you can see, I'm running a 3080. I'll put my NeoFetch up here in the corner so you can see what specs I'm working with. But I am running the game at 1080, nothing too crazy. Everything's pretty much on high. I've got the target frame rate set to 120. I've got VSync turned off. And let's see what we get with Vulkan. Now Vulkan is the open source version of DirectX. So it's designed to run on other platforms other than Windows. So this is what we get with the Vulkan version of the game. But we can see here that the frame rate's kind of fluctuating around the 70s. It's not quite getting to 100. Enemies get here, you can see it takes really big dips when the enemies get here. Things start filling the screen up. I'm getting drops to like 30. So things just aren't super stable when you have V-Sync off and you're trying to reach that, that 120 frame rate. But just for comparison, I'll just switch over to DirectX and kind of show you what the difference is with this game in particular, with its current state, you know, things can change over time. This, like I said, this is early access. There will be improvements, I'm sure. So let's switch over from Vulkan to DirectX 12, which is the default. And let's show you the difference here. All right, so now we are DirectX 12. So now we are using Proton to translate that DirectX 12, that Windows platform, over to a language that kind of Linux can understand. So now we've got that translation layer. Sometimes things can run better. Sometimes things can run, run worse. It just all depends on uh, on kind of how the game was was developed and whatnot. So we've got some enemies on the screen. We seem a little bit more stable than we did. I'm just kind of staring at my frame rate, not really looking at anything else. You know, we're, we're taking dips like we were with Vulcan. Let me get some more enemies on the screen. Get some more particles going. We're taking some dips, but they're not as bad. So they're not as violent as the dips that we were seeing earlier with Vulcan. Things are kind of staying a little bit more close to that 60 FPS sweet spot. So as you saw earlier, we were using that open source software Vulcan to render the game and actually got worse performance than using the Windows platform DirectX to render the game. And that's what makes software like Proton so great. I don't have to rely on open source software like Vulkan, even though it's great. I can just switch over to DirectX and see if I get better performance, let Proton take the wheel, and sure enough, I'm getting better performance. Now let's take it back to where I had it before. This is how I normally play it. So I take DirectX and I turn it to, I'll put it on adaptive, the default. And then I'm gonna take my target frame rate and just knock it down to 60. All right, so here's my Legion Go running Bazai OS. I forgot to show you the version of Proton that I'm working with here. So if I go here to compatibility, I am forcing both my desktop and my Legion Go to use the newest build of Proton GE, which is 9.21. Proton GE releases a little bit faster than the official Valve version of Proton. That's why people, uh, people like it. I'm gonna let these shaders compile and then I'm gonna show you what I'm working with on the Legion Go. All right, so let me show you what I got going on here. So as we know, DirectX 12 is running a little bit better than Vulkan for Path of Exile 2 right now, so I'm running that on the Legion Go also. But instead of NVIDIA stuff, I'm running the AMD upscaling, so I'm running FSR. I've got it set to quality. I'm locking the handheld at 30 frames per second. So let me pull up the menu here. So let's lock it at 30, and we also lock it at 30 here. In the software, I should be able to turn some of this stuff up. Let's try cranking this up. Let's go high on lights, high on water. Let's go high on shadows. And I've got my frames per second up here in the upper left. This is actually provided by the OS, not the game. But we're getting a smooth 30 frames with enemies on the screen. And that's pretty much it. I just wanted to kind of show you what my process is like for running games on Linux, and especially new games that are just coming out, showing you how well they perform on the Linux PCs as well as Linux handhelds. If you've got any questions on how I'm running PoE2 on the Legion Go or my gaming PC, let me know. And let me know in the comments if you've got any interesting rigs or setups that you're gaming on currently. Peace.